Can you share your, your $2 million mistake story? Yeah, I, I think you've got it on the screen here. Um, I was actually fortunate to have this experience early in my career, my second year there. Um, I, I ran a national promotion and I, quite frankly, I learned real quick, I was too aggressive and it went over budget $2 million. Now this is when Chick-fil-A is a $120 million business. So two million bucks was a big deal. Big deal. It was also 1982 when we were in the midst of a national financial crisis. This was a coupon based promotion. We decided we're never going to do coupons and discounting again. We stopped. Yeah. And we completely inverted the marketing model. Um, we made it an operator centric model rather than a corporate centric marketing model. Uh, we empowered the operators. We gave them the resources and the ideas for them to build the business, not controlling everything out of Atlanta. And um, this mistake is was was the catalyst for what eventually developed uh, what I call renegade marketing. Whatever the marketing issue or strategy is we were considering, if it looks and smells anything like the rest of the industry, we're not going to do it. And so Cal's campaign is a great example. We, we, we decided we're not going to show food. We're not going to show price. Um, we're not going to try to just communicate. We want your business. We want your money. Uh, we decided we're going to campaign that will make people smile and make the brand memorable. And because the reality is you can show a chicken sandwich and change the logo and it, you can't tell whose it is. Um, so I, I, I'm a great believer in don't, um, don't throw people out when they make a mistake. Give them a chance to step back, be humble, think, strategize, what did you learn? What is the bigger implication on the business? Um, I already told you in the case of Chick-fil-A, it was, it was transforming for the business and it was transforming for me and my team. Yeah, and Steve, a couple of things that I heard when when it, it listen it, when uh, reading your book, listening to you speak here, um, the 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 approach to hiring the right people, not just the competencies, the the, the example that Truett set, that you weren't shown the door when you made this no, mistake. No, in fact, I went to Jimmy and I apologized. Within a, about a week, I knew I'd made a real big mistake, and he yeah. said uh, he said, "Don't worry about it." He said, "I was part of it. I approved it." And he said, besides, we just invested $2 million in your education. You'll never make that mistake again. Well, it, and then the hum humility, the humility cascaded because it was not just how they treated you, but uh, you know, you're know, you kind of a legendary marketer. And I, one of the things that really jumps out to me is uh, you know, from the hospitality to the cows, to the processes, to the, 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 the data-centric approach that you take. Um, it's not Atlanta up on headquarters on high telling everybody how it's gonna be done because you're the smartest guy in the room. You almost take the opposite approach. I mean, you give all the credit away to everyone else uh, and, and it's a decentralized operator-centric marketing approach, Correct. right? That's absolutely so, Here, here's, here's where, um, Here's where I netted out, and this mistake contributed to it. Chick-fil-A customers don't care who the CMO is. They don't, they don't even care who the CEO is. All <laughs> right. they care about is what kind of experience do they have at that brand, <laughs> at that restaurant. Um, they, they don't even care who came up with the cow campaign. All they care about is they enjoy the jokes. That's right, that's right. So that's right. it's not about me, it's not, a, it's, Quite frankly, it's not about any leader, if they'll really step back and be objective about it. Um, the question is, am I contributing to creating an environment where people can thrive? 